Yo, what is up guys? It's Retro Giraffe. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Hopefully you guys are taking care of yourselves out there during these crazy times in the world. In this video as well, I am standing up and I have a top-down shot ready for you guys. So um, in my previous video, I asked if you guys like the setup. So if you guys do, please let me know. Um, I think it helps cut down the glare on whenever I try to show you guys something. I feel like whenever I show you guys at a certain angle, um, I guess with my usual shot, um, there's always some glare and you guys can't really see the cards. Also, I feel like the picture sometimes is just blown out, but hopefully this top-down shot um, helps with the glare and hopefully you guys are able to see things better. But today isn't really a game per se, but it's more of a strategy guide. And I know it's 2020 and people don't really use strategy guides. People usually use online PDFs or online resources to, I guess, guide them through certain games. But personally, the reason why I like strategy guides is mostly because I think of it as an art book. So as you can see here, we have the Pokemon Official Nintendo Player's Guide. And correct me if I'm wrong, um, I'll probably do some research and put it up on the screen somewhere. But I believe this is the very first strategy guide made for Pokemon Red and Blue. Um, I think the one that we're all very familiar with is maybe the Prima Guide, the one with uh, Blastoise and Charizard on the cover, and also Pikachu. But apparently, um, correct me if I'm wrong again, I believe this is the very first one. So, um, as you can see right here, we have Pikachu, and it says the official guide from the pros at Nintendo Power. And since the strategy guide is coming from Nintendo themselves, it has to be official. So we have Pikachu on the front, we have the different, um, I guess, artworks for the different Pokemon in the back. Classic Ken Sugimori. And it says right here, 150 Pokemon stickers inside. Believe it or not, that's actually a big reason why I decided to buy this book. But um, once we get to that, I'll give you guys a closer look. But let's just open it up and see what we get on the first page. So we have the map of Kanto, so I believe we start here, this is like Cinnabar, the Cycling Bridge, Fuchsia, and all that. So this is the overall map of um, Kanto. We have the Elite Four, or I guess Indigo Plateau, something over there. On the left right here we have a staff list of everyone who contributed to the strategy guide. And as you can see right here we see a picture of red, and it says the adventure begins. So I'm not going to go into detail, but I'm just going to give you guys a brief preview of the book. But once we get to that page of the 150 stickers, um, I think you guys will like it, hopefully. But let's just skim through this. So, you know, obviously we have the contents, you know, we have a general map of the game itself. Moving on, the world of Pokemon gives you like an intro. Man, just looking at this artwork, like the Venusaur line, the Blastoise, the Rattata, like the Alakazam, that artwork I believe is from or for Team Rocket. So, man, just so iconic, all these artworks. We have the Polyrath, Zubat. We have Red checking his PC. We have the original sprites from the games. Man, it's so crazy. And it wasn't even Game Boy Colors, it was Game Boy Pockets. So, just a little thing to keep in mind. Pokemon Trainer's Manual, I think this is where we actually get into it. So, you know, we start off with Palatown. Choice of a starter, as you, as you can see right here. Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander. Okay, yeah, just very brief for you guys. I don't want to take too much time, but it kind of goes through each gym, each area. I don't know in what detail. I haven't really taken a good look at this, but it gives you a comprehensive map of each area, so I think that's pretty cool. So we have Lavender, Saldon City. We have the EV that you can get from... I forget who, but you can get it from some guy in Saldon City. He just gives it to you. We have the Game Corner, which you eventually uh, fight Team Rocket. And then you get to fight Erika, there's the Pokemon Tower, Gengar, and all that. And I love this artwork because it's basically taken straight from the cards. Like, this is from Fossil, that's from uh, Gym Heroes, I believe. So, it's just so iconic that how those artworks translate into, like, these strategy guides. I mean, obviously, I, I think most of it attributes to, you know, Ken Sugimori making the artwork. So because, you know, this whole entire strategy guide is based off his artwork, it's just littered with all of it. So I'm not complaining, I'm a huge fan. We have Lapras, you know, with the teeth. Lapras actually doesn't have teeth, but I believe in Fossil, that's the only card where Lapras has teeth, which is kind of weird. Moving on to Route 12, we have other routes right here. We have Fuchsia City, we have Koga. We're gonna move on to, yep, the Safari Zone, classic Safari Zone. I spent so much time in here just trying to catch the Kangaskhan, the Scyther, the Chanseys, all of that. Man, it was so much fun. Um, yeah, gotta love the Safari Zone. 
Uh, moving on to the power plant, we have um, Sea Foam Island, and I believe we move on to Cinnabar. Yep, Cinnabar Island, and Indigo Plateau, and here we go. So, as you can see right here, we have all these sprites, and these are actually all stickers, so let me actually give you guys a closer look. So the stickers are of the original sprites in the red, blue, yellow games. So let's start off at the top. So we have Nintendo Power, gotta stamp them all. Each Pokemon has a data card in the field guide, pages 66 through 103. As you collect each one, peel off its stamp and place it in the space provided on this card. And the reason why I bought this book specifically is because all of these stickers were intact. Looking at eBay, looking at other sold listings or other listings that are up on eBay, a lot of them have the stickers kind of placed throughout the book, but for me, I wanted where all the stickers were intact, so I could just... Most likely, I would probably just leave it as is, but if I ever wanted to, I guess, use these stickers, I can definitely do that. But yeah, so, so starting off, we have Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. We have the Caterpie Weedle line, just gonna go through this slowly for you guys. And hopefully looking at these sprites, it kind of like, I guess, sparks nostalgia for you guys because I know it definitely did when I first saw this. Nani? It's like, I need to have this book. Especially with the stickers. I think the stickers are the most important part because I think the concept of, you know, putting these stickers in the book is such a cool concept. It's so, um, it's so Nintendo, so Pokemon. But I'm glad that these are all intact. Like I said, I don't plan on peeling these off anytime soon. But yeah, let's just move on from that. So that's the main reason why I bought this. But also, like I said, I treat it like an art book. So moving on to the Pokemon Field Guide. So this is going to have all the information of the 151, I believe, Mew is in here. Like, unfortunately, if you guys look at the sticker guide, there is no Mew, unfortunately. It stops on Mewtwo. I low-key wish they would have included Mew, even though I believe you can only get him through, like, a certain event, or you can get him through... Um, doing the hack, which is how I got mine, but just moving on, I believe there's just information of all the moves that I can learn, where you can get it, and the different stats of everything, so I'm just going to go through this briefly. But as you can see, um, this is all Ken Sugimori artwork, so let me actually try to cut the glare so you guys can get a better look, but yeah, so I'll just take my time going through this, hopefully you guys can enjoy it, but yeah. There isn't really much to this book because it's only Gen 1, there's only 151 Pokemon. It's a pretty straightforward story, so nothing really much to say about this book, but for me, I just love looking at this artwork. It's very nostalgic to me. It just takes me back to when I first had my Game Boy and I was playing uh, Pokemon Blue. It was just, it just, it just brings back like a rush of emotions, like the nostalgia for me. So, gotta love the artwork. A lot of the artwork is coming straight from the Pokemon cards, so definitely a fan of that. But yeah, I'm just gonna go through this. We're almost at the end. We have the evolutions here. We have Kabutops, so we have the fossils, the legendary birds. And unfortunately, no, we don't have Mew to end it off. But yeah, so we also have the Pokemon locator and also the items list, um, abilities and attacks. Um, TMs and HMs, where you can get them, what it does, and I believe this is a complete, um, I think. Oh wow, I didn't know it was that comprehensive. But we have a complete, t and on the last page it says, play Pokemon, gotta catch them all. So we have red, blue, and green with their respective Pokemon, and I guess this is how you get the magazines. But that is it for you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully you guys um, enjoyed this little brief, uh, Guess, preview of this book. As I mentioned, the main reason that I got this was mainly because of the sticker sheet. I thought it was so cool. I saw someone post a picture of this on Instagram. I'm like, what is that? How did you get it? What is it? Like, let me let me buy it. And then he basically just told me it was a strategy guide. So I'm like, oh, it should be pretty easy to find. But it did take a little bit because a lot of them, as I said, um, the stickers were peeled off and placed in the strategy guide. But for me, I just wanted all the stickers to be intact. And I got a really good deal for this, so um, shout out to the seller um, if you ever watch this. But yeah, that is it for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this new setup. I will be kind of switching back and forth between the top down and like the, you know, the front facing camera, whatever. Um, I guess like the normal view, as you guys are used to. 
But yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys prefer, um, if you guys like the setup, especially for like um, binders or like books like this. And for the normal unboxings, I can actually resort to the standard way of filming. But yeah, that is it for you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, um, share with your friends if you guys think they might enjoy this. Um, we're almost at 200, which is insane. Um, I don't know when this video is going to be up, whether before or after, but once we hit 200, um, I'll be doing another giveaway because 200 was the goal for the channel um, initially when I started to get serious, which was back in January. It's already halfway into the year and I think it's insane of how I already reached this goal. Um, one of my friends, or Vince, um, if you guys know Vince, I mentioned him in a previous video for my 30 day challenge. He even said that I might reach 1k by the end of the year. I don't know about that, um, I think he's very optimistic. For me, I'll be happy with like 500, but I mean, I guess I'll just keep grinding and see what happens at the end of the year. But yeah, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Please stay safe out there, um, please just take care of yourselves. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.